We're going to talk about something about a little bit. China and U.S. economies are tied together heavily through consumerism. Uh, China produces goods, the United States consumes them. You know, from, what, from what I've been listening to, they've been opening up routes to uh, pool resources and, and open up trade routes to other areas within their region. Uh, mostly uh, toward the Middle East, through Afghanistan, and all of that. Uh, Afghanistan's a major trade route. It's always been a major land-based trade route. That's why they've always been fighting for it. Uh, Taliban's never been never been defeated, though. Not in the mountains. Because the, in the mountains, there's no... Technology doesn't matter. Your helicopters don't matter. Your airstrikes don't matter. Your air superiority don't matter. But yeah, that boots on the ground, and they've been there fighting for years, tribal tribal wars. And it, it's, it's always been a losing fight. The Russians try to do it. The United States try to do it. The Chinese might try to do it. But... I don't think that they ever be conquered in the mountains. With that said, China is like a bodybuilder. If you, a bodybuilder needs to maintain a huge diet to maintain its mass. The only way you trim down a bodybuilder is to remove his diet. So if, if the United States stops consuming at a rapid rate, removing the amount of money being sent overseas, China will literally starve because China has such a huge population to support and we don't. But for some reason we consume so much. A lot of uh, generic pharmaceuticals are, are produced overseas as, as, as well as most of our things that we consume electronically. Most of your cars, parts and components are manufactured in China. Mm, just take a look around. I think the easiest way to do that is to buy used because the money's already been sent once, why send it twice? And then, then also, another way to do it is to buy American and then support American. That, and just downsizing in general, will, will solve a lot of issues. Because coronavirus already showed that the economy is on the verge of collapse. And if we're on the verge of collapse, we might as well start conditioning ourselves for the collapse.